African drums, African drums. Something about your culture hum. Must be your people. It must be your time. It must be the rhythm of your feet beating rhymes. Yet, would you believe the truth of this fact that some wish to send our ancestor back? Can't you hear the beating of the drums? African American classical composers. Yes, I'm talking about music. There's two people I would like to talk about tonight concerning classical music, which is a man and also a woman. Now, the, the man name is Joseph Baloney St. George, and he was born in 1745, and he died in 1799. Now, he was born to a wealthy plantation owner. See, my boy George, as you know, you should know, he was a slave. And it said that St. George had a very extraordinary life. Now, after his father moved him to um, France in 1753, the young St. George quickly became a champion fencer. A fencer is somebody who can uh, handle a sword. And it's a which became his ticket into the elite club for fencers. And also, which allowed him to enter into music. It said that he became a very uh, 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 powerful and had the ability of uh, uh, playing a violin, and he composed his music, his first music in 1772, performing two violin concertos that that demonstrate both his his, his, uh, his ability and his talent and his gift for composing songful and expression melody. Now, it said later on that everybody should know who Mozart is. Mozart wrote so many classical songs. You know, Mozart was a, a Caucasian. I'll say it that way. But when Mozart heard about St. George, he became jealous. And it was even said that St. George received the name of, was given the nickname, the Black Mozart. Can you believe that? But they say Mozart became very jealous because he heard about this black Mozart that took music and made it come alive, made it vibrant, made it so everybody, any nationality, any color, will love to hear the music. So remember my boy, Joseph Maloney, St. George, born in 1745 and died in 1799. Now there's one more person I like to talk about, and we can't leave the women's out. Now, there was a woman by the name of Florence Prince. She was born in 1887 and died, listen, in 1953. Now, she was born in Little Rock, um, Arkansas. Prince would go uh, uh, to become the award-winning musician and the first black woman, let me say it again, the first black woman to gain widespread recognition as a, a, a sympathy composer. She gave her first performance at the age of, listen, y'all ain't gonna believe this, at the age of four, she gave her first performance and later went to study at the New England woo, School of Music. And let me just say a couple more things about her. She was the director of Clark All College Music Department in where? At the ATL here in Atlanta before moving with her family to Chicago in 1927. Her time in Chicago was a period of great creativity and in 1932 she won the Watermaker prize for her sympathy in E major. So remember my girl Florence B. Prince, born in 1887 and died in 1953. Hey, 
This is the maestro from Nighttime Devotion saying I love you. I love you. Enjoy.